What's up y'all, it's your man Alex back again to do another video for you. And this video is going to be a mix of all kinds of stuff. You know, it's going to be uh, some movies that I've bought over the past, I don't know how many months. Uh, it's going to be about movies that I saw in the theater but just never made videos for. Uh, it's going to be about trailers that have been out for a long time that, and I just want to give you my thoughts on them. Uh, it's going to be about movie news that everybody knows about, but I want to give you my thoughts on them. It's kind of been out for a while. It's going to be about all kinds of movies that I've watched, and I'm going to give you a rundown on my thoughts on all of them. It's just going to be a whole bunch of stuff, so hopefully this video won't run on too long. Uh, but first, I want to get into uh, what's been going on with me for the past week. Uh, now a few of my friends here on YouTube know that I've been in the hospital recently for the past few days. Sunday, this past Sunday, which would be the 23rd, I got admitted into the hospital because uh, I had to have my appendix removed. So got all that done, got out the hospital, and then a few days later, I had to go back into the hospital because uh, one of my incisions got infected. You know they cut you know they, they cut three holes in my stomach you know to, to take it out two holes were fine but one of them you know had stuff going on and I got an infection and it was painful and terrible and I was sick and it was just it was bad when it came time for the doctor to check me out he had this thing in his hand and he was like this is gonna be uncomfortable and he opened up he opened up my stuff while I was awake. He didn't use anything to numb the area. And it had to be the most painful thing ever. I think dude was a Cenobite. It was terrible. I stayed two days in the hospital and I got to come home. But what's going on now is uh, my uh, infected area incision is still open. Uh, it's got to stay open until it heals from the inside out. So what I got to do every day, you know, a few times a day is my wife has to, <laughs> she has to take gauze and she has to stick it inside the little hole I have in my stomach so that uh, the outside of it doesn't seal shut until the inside of it heals, which is pretty gross. Ready? Uh, just do it. Ah! Oh. <laughs> See, there's your leakage. Whoa! Uh, okay, I'm gonna pull uh, your string. Yeah, uh, don't pull it hard, though. That's fine. Oh, well, you can't stand looking at it? I see your insides. That's freaking nasty. So that's kind of been, you know, what's up with me. You know, I've been walking around the house like an old man all stooped over. I can't bend over. I can't go to work. And, you know, I might be sweating now. I have these temperature changes with me. You know, one minute I'll be real cold. And then the next minute I'll be hot and sweaty kind of hard to deal with sometimes but uh oh well but anyway let me get into the point of this video while I was out and when I mean out I mean out of work because uh, I couldn't go to work with you know what's going on with me um, I had a chance to watch a lot of movies my wife she would run off the family video and she would bring back seem like movies every day and you know we got a chance to watch a lot of movies even some movies on netflix but i'm gonna start off with these movies from family video now like i said i got a lot of movies that i was able to watch but at the same time i didn't watch all of them because i fell asleep during some of them so uh when it comes to those movies i'm gonna have my wife michelle jump in and, and say you know a few words about what she thought about those movies so uh um, let's get to it. I got to see Parker with Jason Statham. I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. I like Jason Statham. He's probably my favorite 
action person today. I liked it. I would buy it if I saw it for cheap. I'm broke right now, so I can't buy it at no regular price. I don't buy movies at regular prices now anyway. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I do. I should take that back. I can't say that. Identity Theft was another movie that I saw. Uh, actually, I fell asleep in this one. Uh, Identity Theft, I thought it was okay when it started, but after a while, I just kind of got tired of the movie and I fell asleep. But uh, Michelle can tell you what she thought of the movie. It was okay. I give it a 6 out of 10. Beautiful Creatures is another movie that I saw. Um, I didn't really care for it, honestly. There was some parts in the movie that I thought was kind of corny. Um, I don't know. I ain't got too much to say about that. I didn't really care for it. Warm Bodies was another movie. This guy who's a zombie starts not acting like a zombie when he meets this girl that looks like a blonde Kristen Stewart um, I can't remember her name but um, uh, I thought it was a decent movie uh, it's a different kind of zombie movie I like different something different seeing something different uh, but um, would I buy it? I don't know if it was laying around for like 50 cents somewhere maybe I get it Jack the Giant Slayer, I think I fell asleep <laughs> like 10 minutes into the movie, but uh, Michelle saw it. I loved it and I give it a 10 and I buy it, it's just amazing. I loved it. Snitch with The Rock. Uh, now, I thought this was pretty good. There, I did fall asleep for like maybe 5 minutes, uh, but I liked the movie. I thought it was pretty good. I liked The Rock. The Incredible Burt Wonderstone was another movie that I got to watch and fell asleep on. I seen like the first 20, 30 minutes of it and fell asleep. I, I wish I could have saw the whole thing, but uh, Michelle saw it. It was okay. I gave it a 7 out of 10. The Call with Halle Berry. <laughs> while, uh, while me and my wife are watching this movie, uh, there was a point when my daughter had walked up next to me and she was looking at the TV and she <laughs> she was like, Daddy, look, that lady got show enough hair. <laughs> For real, I don't know what was going on with Halle Berry hair. I actually thought The Call was an entertaining movie, uh, but I did not like the ending of the movie. I did not like it. It just, I don't know, it just seemed, I don't know. I mean, the, the guy got it in the end. I don't want to spoil it, but people that seen the movie, I don't know how you feel about the ending, but I just didn't like that ending, the way it ended. And the last movie that my wife had got from Family Video that we watched was Jack Reacher. And of course, I did not stay awake in this movie, so I can't give you inappropriate judgment on it I guess is that them the words I want to use but anyway uh, Michelle saw it I gave it a seven that's about it <laughs> don't think I want to see it again though all right now there's some stuff on Netflix that I watched um, a movie called branded uh, I've seen the trailer a while back and it looked real interesting. I saw it on Netflix and I'm like, wow, this movie's on Netflix? I thought this was going to come out to the theater sometime. And uh, watched the movie and I see why it was on Netflix and not the theater. I just, I didn't really like it at all. Um, I don't know if it's because maybe I was on, you know, my medication or whatever and couldn't concentrate on the movie, but I just didn't really care for it. It, it just wasn't what I was expecting, but um, I don't know about that one. I finally watched Conan the Barbarian, uh, the one with Jason Momoa. Um, actually, I didn't even watch the whole thing. 
two scenes that stick out in that movie to me that I thought was really cheesy. Uh, the one is when Conan is born, and then uh, uh, what's his name, Ron Perlman, lifts baby Conan in the air like Simba. <laughs> There's that scene, and then there's the one where, uh, <laughs> when, uh, spoiler, sorry if you've never seen it, spoiler, but the part where Conan's dad dies, you know, and Conan and his dad is, you know, chained up to this thing, and uh, Conan's dad dies, and uh, little, little kid Conan grabs this sword, and he like swings it around and then he points it in the air and ah! and the music comes on and it's all dramatic and I saw that scene and I just laughed cause it's I don't know I just thought that I don't know it was just silly I watched the pilot episode to Breaking Bad on there I never watched Breaking Bad and everybody talks about what a great show it is I watched the pilot and uh, it was pretty interesting, and I'm gonna have to get back to that sometime. I don't know when, but uh, it kind of caught my attention, so I probably am gonna go back to it sometime. The ABCs of Death is on Netflix, and uh, I made a video quite a while ago about uh, talking about the trailer, because I saw the trailer and I thought, wow, you know, this could be something real interesting, and I want to check it out. Um, so. Uh, I tried to watch it and I think I made it to the letter F, uh, but I, I just couldn't keep my attention really at that moment. So I'm probably gonna go back some time and watch it, and you know maybe in a later video tell you what I think about it. Uh, but I didn't really get to see any of it, so uh, I don't know. Maybe look forward to a video about it someday. Okay, now there's a couple movies that me and my wife saw in the theaters quite a while back. This was like way before the whole appendix thing happened. Um, a while back. I just never made videos for it. And uh, one of those movies is Fast and the Furious 6. Um, I thought that was good. I was entertained. I enjoyed it. There was some, you know, corny... Uh, Transporter 2 type stuff in it, you know, like the scene when they're on the freeway and Vin Diesel jumps off the car and catches what's her face. But uh, anyway, uh, I I thought it was entertaining. And oh yeah, and there's a <laughs> at, at the end of the movie or towards the end, there's this chase scene with this airplane on a runway. And all the cars are racing by it, and they're trying to keep this plane from taking off. This scene is like 10 minutes long. 10, it's long. It's pretty long. But this plane is on this runway for this long amount of time going real fast. you telling me, like, man, this runway is that long? But anyway, man, forget all that, man. I thought it was fun, entertaining. Me and my wife got out the theater. And we went and got uh, uh, Tokyo Drift because that was the only Fast and Furious movie that we didn't have. So we got that. And then we watched all the Fast and the Furious movies. We had a marathon back to back to back to back. You know, watched them all in one day. And I was going to make a video about it, you know, just talking about Fast and the Furious movies. Just never did. Never got around to it. But, um... I enjoy that series. I like it. Another movie that we saw in the theater a while back is The Hangover 3. Um, I didn't think it was that great, man. It had it had its moments. Uh, but the most annoying thing in that movie, I thought, was the little Asian dude. I, can't, I don't even know his name. Uh... I don't know, I just thought his character was really annoying, just annoying. To me, it's one of those movies where it's like, you know, you see it once and then you don't need to see it again. That's just how I feel. A few trailers I want to talk about real quick. 
Uh, some of them are like old news. I mean, so old that the movie's already out, but I don't care. I still want to talk about it. Escape Plan with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone. Uh, I've been wanting to see a movie from these two together for a long time. And it's too bad that, you know, you got to wait till they old men to come out with a movie, man. Why couldn't they come out with a movie when they was younger? But, you know, I'm going to still go see it. Um, Escape Plan. I thought it was called The Tomb. They changed the name of it. But, um... I want to check it out. My two favorite action heroes of all time, old men or not, I'm gonna check it out. That Hobbit trailer, I want to check that movie out, man. You, know, you got that Hobbit trailer that's out. I know it's kind of old and it's old news, but I don't care. Uh, you got uh, Legolas is in the movie. They show Smog in the trailer. You got uh, Evangeline Lilly is in the movie. You know, back when I heard she was going to be in it, I was like, man, I want to see pictures or something of, you know, her. You know, I'm, I like Evangeline Lilly. You know, she was in my favorite TV show ever, Lost. And, you know, I just wanted to check her out in, a, in her little elf get up. Now, I know Man of Steel is out already. I haven't seen it. But I really like that Man of Steel trailer that, uh, what is it, trailer four? You know, the screen is all like blurry and staticky and you you can hear Zod voice and you know he's talking and the, all the big action happening and stuff like that. You know, that's a that's a cool trailer right there, man. I watched that trailer over and over. You know, I watched it once, as soon as it ended, you know, start it over again, watch it again, start that's a cool trailer right there, man. I like that. Uh if you had to see the movie um, I don't know when I'm gonna see it. Hopefully, sometime soon. Uh, I've heard mixed reviews on it. I've heard people say that they thought it was great. I heard people say that they, you know, were really disappointed. Uh, but um, I'm gonna check it out. I don't, just don't know when. All right, let me show you a couple things I got. Um, the Last Stand, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, now, the day that I was going to watch this at home was the day I had to get my appendix out. Uh, my friend came over to watch this movie, and I, I was too hurt to put the movie in the player. And when I did, I ran to the bathroom and then collapsed on the floor. And then they decided to take me to the emergency room. So, uh, but anyway, uh, Last Stand, Dread. I haven't watched this movie at all, but I found this for $5 on Blu-ray at Family Video. I'm telling you, Family Video is the place to go. They cheaper than pawn shops, and they cheaper than Walmart, and they cheaper than whatever. The movie is used, but you can't tell. No scratches at all. Dread. I got this movie a while back, uh, and that is Rock of Ages. Uh, this... This is a movie that my wife had rented quite a while ago, and she brought it home, and we watched it, and, uh, I enjoyed this movie. This, uh, it's a musical set in the 80s, and the music in this movie is, like, 80s rock music, and, uh, I like 80s rock music, and me and my wife were singing along to a lot of the songs in the movie, and, uh, I thought it was entertaining. You know, some people might find it cheesy or corny. But, hey, I had a good time watching it. So, I figured I'd buy it. It was only two bucks. Okay, so, about maybe two months ago, I was in Walmart. And, uh, I saw this and thought, I should grab this. And that's Game of Thrones. Season 1. And I heard so much about it. Everybody talks about how wonderful it is and how great it is. And, you know, I don't have cable. I don't have HBO, so I can't watch it. And uh, I thought, you know, I'm going to try it. Usually I don't buy things that I've never seen before, especially if they're TV shows 
seasons because you know those ain't they really ain't cheap so i got it washed it and thought it was pretty good and then i don't know about a month later uh i had worked a lot of overtime and got extra money and saw this and thought i should pick this up so i picked it up washed it thought it was pretty good thought it was better than the first season there were some standout things in there like the very last shot in the very last episode uh and then the third season had ended and you know wasn't able and i wasn't able to watch it so i downloaded it and i watched it that way and uh, i'm gonna pick up the third season when it comes out so i don't want to hear nobody Ooh, you downloaded illegally and this and that and blah blah whatever i would consider myself a fan of the show now i really enjoy it um uh, I, I even like it to the point where just recently uh, me and the family was at Adventureland in Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, we were in Adventureland and I saw a shirt in a store and I saw it and bought it. So now I got me a shirt from the show. I like it. And uh, what's some of the things about it? Uh, probably my favorite character in the show was Tyrion. Uh, I like my favorite storyline is going on is probably uh, Daenerys Targaryen. Is that her name? The Khaleesi girl, the, the white haired, silver haired chick who, you know, got the dragon. Yeah, I, I like that storyline right there. That's probably my favorite thing that's going on. I like that dude. I can't even remember his name. The assassin type dude. Uh, the one. Uh, that gave uh, Arya that uh, gave her that coin and say, if you're somewhere, say Mecca like a high, Mecca hiney ho, and I'll show up. That person, I, I thought he was cool. I want to see him again. Uh, probably the most hated character I cannot stand is Joffrey. Man, somebody need to destroy that kid, man, because he is just a terrible person. The Starks, man. That is just terrible what's happened to y'all, man. The Starks, I don't know what's up with that. Uh, mm. But Game of Thrones is a show that I'm hooked on now and can't wait till season four. And I wish I could watch it as it airs on TV, but I don't have HBO, I don't have cable. Uh, so, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Now this last bit, I want to talk about some movie news. I want to get my thoughts out there about some movie news that I've heard about. Uh, like um, William Finchner, Fishner, Finchner, whatever his name is, playing the Shredder in the new Ninja Turtle movie. Michael Bay, man, he better watch out, man. He going to get bum rushed by somebody out on the street because I know he's just making everybody mad. Why would you pick him to play the Shredder? The Shredder is a Japanese dude from Japan named Oroku Saki. I don't have any problem with different races playing, you know, parts and stuff like that. Because um, there's a lot of characters like you can have a black guy play Spider-Man. Spider-Man's race doesn't have anything to do with what Spider-Man does or who he is. It really doesn't. But if you make a white guy or a black guy the Shredder, you're going to have to change his background. You're going to have to change his name. You're going to have to... You, you got to change everything about the Shredder. You can't have this white guy with the name Oroku Saki. It just, it, you're going to sit there like, how, why, why does the white guy have a Japanese name? But anyway. Now when I was in the hospital, I was laying in the hospital bed and 
Uh, my wife was sitting in the chair next to me, and she was watching E. Well, I can't even remember what was on. But E was on, and she was watching some movie or something. And, you know, E, every once in a while, they like to run this thing across the bottom of the screen. And, you know, it gives you entertainment news and stuff like that. And um, I'm looking at it, and across the screen goes Terminator Reboot for 2015. And I thought, wow, really? Really? A Terminator reboot? Now, I really don't got no problem with reboots no more. Remakes, I'll go see them. You know, I, I just, I really don't care anymore. I'll give it a chance. The thing that shocked me about it was not that it was a reboot of the Terminator. You know, a lot of people, how, how could you... How could you remake Terminator? How could you reboot Terminator? It's Terminator and it shouldn't be touched. The thing that got to me is, you telling me Hollywood is so out of ideas that they're just pulling out everything from the past. I'm like, wow, man, y'all can't even come up with original movies anymore. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, y'all... Wow, really? I don't understand the whole remake reboot epidemic, man. I mean, it's old news, really, because it's been going on for a while. But it's like, man. I need to go upstairs and I need to lay down because I'm really hot right now. I might be sweating a little bit. I don't know. But I just feel real hot right now and I need to relax. So, uh, thanks for watching the video if you watched. And uh, I'm going to just say peace out. And I'll see you on the next video.